Begin by locating the ground or negative cable on the battery, yellow arrow, and use a 13 millimeter wrench, red arrow, to disconnect it. Place the cable in a manner that it cannot accidentally touch the battery post while you are working. This is especially important if you are accessing the sensor from below and going to remove the starter. Removing both sensors from above. You can see and access the front knock sensor from between the water pump thermostat and the intake manifold as indicated by the red arrow. Reach in and disconnect the wiring harness, red arrow, from the sensor, yellow arrow. If your hands are large, it may be easier once you have the sensor off the block to do this. Use a 13 millimeter socket and universal joint and extensions to remove the sensor, red arrow. Installation of this sensor is the reverse of removal. If you want to replace the rear sensor from above, you will need to remove the throttle body, red arrow. Please see our article and video on throttle body removal for further assistance by following the link at the end of this video. With the throttle body off, you can easily access the 13mm nut and the sensor. Remove the old sensor and install a new one. How to remove the sensors from below. The front sensor, red arrow, can be accessed by reaching up just in front of the left engine mount. Separate the wiring connection, remove the old sensor with a 13 millimeter socket, and install a new sensor. To remove the rear sensor, you will need to remove the starter motor, red arrow. Please see our article and video on removing the starter motor for additional assistance by following the link at the end of this video. With the starter motor removed, you can get easy access to the sensor, red arrow. Reach up, separate the wiring connection, use a 13 millimeter socket, and remove the old sensor. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.